Welcome to the Wednesday News at 10. We begin tonight with the race for Boise's mayor. Six of the seven candidates for the city's top seat squared off in another forum tonight. Monday night's mayoral forum at BSU ended in some contention after Mayor Dave Beter singled out his three closest opponents, Brent Coles, Lauren McLean, and Rebecca Arnold. The question many were asking tonight, would the other candidates t now take the offensive? Our Misty Inglet was there tonight and joins us now with what happened, Misty. Well, Mark, it was a civil forum among all of the candidates. However, there were a few fireworks. Well, I'm really happy to draw this distinction from uh, my opponents. All was quiet in Wednesday night's mayor forum until current Boise Mayor Dave Beter drew on his difference of opinion when all candidates were asked whether they would support spending public funds to build a downtown stadium. All candidates but Beter said no. And in explaining his reason for saying yes, he called out current city council president Lauren McLean for changing her stance on the project. You heard one of my opponents slip and say, I was for it, and then start to correct herself. She was for it until it got hard. When the mic next made its way back to McLean, she considered responding. When we're called out, are we able to just follow up on that or no? Or you can use your one minute okay. however you nope, like. I'll answer the question. The next dick from Mayor Beter came while candidates were responding to a question about funding transportation. Beter again took a shot at McLean. The first rule of any endeavor, uh, like young professionals know, is to show up. And my opponent, the first uh, Valley Regional Transit meeting she went to was two months ago after almost nine years on city council. Again, McLean did not respond. Toward the end of the forum, there was a first ever lightning round for the candidates where they had 10 seconds each to answer questions. The question, what would you do to improve Boise? Beater's short answer? Get rid of ACHD and get our roads back. In Arnold's closing statement, she returned fire, saying the city has lost focus and part of the reason is its leadership. We've had some elected officials who've been privileged their entire life and they don't understand what it's like to not be able to afford a home or an apartment. She continued by saying instead of chasing the next top 10 list, Boise needs to focus on being fiscally responsible. Things like taking 20% pay raises, what, twice during your term? Um, th that to me indicates that there is no responsible uh, spending. Throughout the rest of the night, candidates were asked to address other topics like affordable housing, rising property taxes, and the recent controversy over F-35 aircraft possibly coming to the city. They're not right for our city. Mountain Home is a great location. I grew up with F-4s in the valley. That big glaring, rah, that's the sound of freedom. <laughs> I fully support our military and having a mission at Gowan Field, but the F-35 is not uh, is not it. We need a new mission at Gowan Field. That's $160 million of economic activity. Yes, but not carte blanche. Certainly don't want supersonic flights in and around our city. Now the candidates for Boise City Council will have their forum tomorrow night, and that's from 7 to 9 p.m. at the library at Cole and Eustick. Mark. 13 days to the election and just saw it is definitely heating up.